Hi everybody, it's Nikki again. Um, I just made a uh, video, I'm sorry, this is a video about personal experience, personal opinion, not to be used with medical advice. Um, I just did a really painful video on minimum delivery. All the information was great, but my blood sugar was low and I was trembling, <laughs> mumbling, um, stuttering, and it was just wasn't very, you know, whatever. But um, I might still post it because I'm really way too lazy to make it again, so we'll see. But in the meantime, here I am checking my blood sugar and doing all this stuff and trying to decide whether or not I could do the second video before I go on, you know, with my day. And I realize here, er, here is the example of what I see on a regular basis. Um, so why not capture it and let you guys see it um, rather than primping as I usually do for my videos, just kind of go with it. That's a joke because I, <laughs> I don't primp for anything ever. Um, in fact, I rarely shower <laughs> for my videos. Okay, anyway, so this is what I'd like to show you. I have gone into auto mode this morning because I was hoping to show a micro bolus um, on my graph screen, but my sugar was too low. Um, and even though I had sugar tabs, I had three glucose tablets, my sugar was just too low to do it. Um, so good news is auto mode did not want to give me insulin that low, so I'm really happy about that. So here's my graph screen, and as you can see, it just doesn't want to do it. Now, here's the funny part. Um, because I had those three glucose tablets, I talk about the delay all the time, um, and I'll show you why I have a hard time with auto mode. Okay, because I've had those three glucose tablets, my blood sugar really is on the rise. It is no longer a 59, and I probably am ready for my insulin again. Very nice of auto mode to kind of hang back there for a little bit, um, but now I'm ready. So here it is, I'm, I'm doing my blood sugar right now. So if auto mode, would recognize that that, and I'm still shaking, but that's because I got too low and was in the middle of the video um, priorities and you know didn't, didn't end it. But my real blood sugar is a 105. My sensor is still reading a 59. Um, if I try to calibrate right now, oh my God, I could even do this. This is, okay. Um, if I tried to calibrate right now, this would definitely kick me out. So hold on one second and I will show you why. So uh, I said I'm at a 59. If I did that by 0.35, 20. So 59. So I could calibrate successfully with a number up to 79. Well, 79 is really not close to 105. So I really can't update my, my pump right now and say, hey, I'm already higher than that. Um, now what I could do, and I have done this before just to kind of get it moving again, is I could take 20% uh, of the 105. So that's going to be 21. And then I could say 105 minus 21 which I should be able to do. My head is 84. Now 84, that means that 20% of 105, which is FDA, you know, standard, whatever for meters, 20% accuracy. 20% um, of 105 is an 84. What I, the other one I said, 59 was a 79. So now I'm looking at if my pump will accept 35% of 59, and that gives me up to 79. And my, and my sensor, my, my meter could really be 20% um, of 105, which is 84. Well, now I'm looking at this, you know, 79 to 84. Do I want to give it a 78 knowing that that's maybe 23% off of what my finger stick is? I believe my finger stick, but I also want my pump to give me some insulin. So here's the dilemma and I'll check one more time to see if it is and it isn't. And I guarantee my blood sugar has, has rise, risen even more since then. Um, I'm an English teacher, was. <laughs> very short-lived but anyway okay um so I'm gonna go ahead and give this a try so here we go I'm gonna enter my BG and I'm gonna go with a 78 because that's just 79 would probably work but I'm gonna go with a 78 if it, it's gonna send me to the loop and I'm gonna send it out the window <laughs> Do I want to calibrate actually no I actually don't want to calibrate I don't want to keep the number I just want this thing but then it's not gonna change it. I did wanna calibrate. Um, this is life with the 6SMDG. You're looking at it. Okay, so I'm gonna try it again. This time I'm gonna go with the 79 and then it's gonna send me into the loop and then I'm gonna send it out the window. Okay, let's try this one more time. This was looking to be a pretty good video um, and it's not now, but that's okay. Let's, we'll, okay, so I said a 70, I think I have to change the number to get it to ask me to calibrate. I'll try one more time. Come on, baby. Do I wanna calibrate? Okay, not really, right? But I also want a microbolus. So yes, 
Medtronic, if you're watching this video, I would love a little feedback because, you know, I and the rest of the 670G wearers are out here trying to figure out what to do with our pumps. Um, and now it's going to take 10 minutes to calibrate, which would put me at a 86 minute video. <laughs> so I think this might be the end of it. And now I'm not going to see a micro bolus. I'm not going to see a micro bolus. Okay, but that's it. You know, this is fine too, right? This is life with the 670G and trying to make it work. I will let you guys know in the description, not that anybody reads them, um, whether or not it took the calibration and whether or not I got my micro bolus. Um, and I think that at a, my guess is that at a 70, 78, 77, whatever I just calibrated at, and having that push, right, because that is that, that, that sensor data push, um, that it was going to give me a micro bolus. I don't have very much insulin on board. I only have 0.4 on board, so I'm guessing it's coming but it's probably not gonna come before, I don't even know. <laughs> so there you have it. Okay, thanks for watching, bye.